Hey, Matt, question time. What are three signs that an advisor should not start a podcast? You know, we talk and have for seven years about all the reasons why you should start a podcast. Uh, it's funny to me that we've never really gone down this route. So here are the three things. Number one, you're not ready to commit to a multi-year influence journey, right? Uh, you, you don't want to budget out for three to five years in order for you to truly start accelerating your influence and, and really increasing your, your momentum. You are much happier to go to the next conference and have that shiny person on stage tell you how you're going to 10x uh, your business by using their system. No, listen, if that's the direction that you want to go, then podcasting is not right for you. Number two, you don't have a niche market. If you don't have a niche market, don't podcast, right? You can't be a generalist as a podcaster. It has to be hyper-focused. And not only do we help our advisors figure that out, but listen, how many more people need to tell you this? Uh, everybody on social media, everybody at conferences are talking about how important you have. It's vital for you to have a niche. Uh, but if you don't want to do it, don't start a podcast. And last but not least, and Kirk, there are still people like this out there. They love to sell. They loved uh, the hunt and the chase and the kill and the clothes and the ah, they love that stuff, right? And if you love that, yeah, you want to get in front of as many skeptics as you possibly can. You don't want to talk to fans because fans come in pre-sold, right? You want that chase, the thrill of the hunt. And if you have those things, three things, number one, you're not ready to commit. Number two, uh, you don't have a niche market. And number three, you love selling, just flat out don't start a podcast. Do something else buy leads, do rubber chicken dinner workshops, um, cold call people, which I think is mostly illegal nowadays. Uh, but yeah, just do what you have been doing, but unfortunately you're going to get left behind.